right, uh, it's been about three weeks since the last update and about two weeks since I cried for help on the onions, so just have a quick show around what's going on. Start the other end of the garden for a change. Just show you that. This is my neighbour's fig tree. It's massive. And there are actually <coughs> figs on it. There's figs on it last year, but they all fell off. But it is huge. Big old thing. Right, tomatoes in the little tents outside. These are the three Shirley. Trim the bottoms off them. And as you can see, look, we've got absolutely loads of tomatoes. Look, it's absolutely stacked with them. But none of them are turning red. This one round here, look. It's got a truss coming off there. And it's going on up there, look. And there's another one the other side, and it's chucking out trusses on the end of trusses. These are the other three. So you've got the garden pearl, and these, look, you see I've had to chop it off. It's starting to get a little bit of blossom end rot, but it's only happening to them. These are the, I think they're tiger, tigerella. No, the green artisan, <clears throat> they don't suffer with it. These are the tigerella, they don't suffer with it. And the garden pearl in the greenhouse, they don't suffer with it. <clears throat> Chilies. Um, habaneros, I think. Oh, sorry, jalapenos. Loads of them. This Hungarian one that my brother bought me is absolutely covered in chilies. And then we've got the mixed peppers. Again, look. Loads of peppers. Look at the size of that one there. Whoa, big one. Right. Oh, this is the bed where the green, uh, the old sweet corn bit the bullet. We've got the flowers from the neighbour. They're all going to seed now, so I'm just going to let them do whatever they're going to do. Not sure what I'm going to do with this bit of ground next year. Uh, <laughs> green cores yet, just planted to see if it survived after what happened to the sweet corn and the yellow cores yet. I'm picking them like crazy, giving them to the neighbours. Um, what else have we got? Right, main crop potatoes. King Edwards. Uh, King Edwards planted on the 5th of April and they all fell over by like the middle of last week, so I chop them off. So you got one, two, four. King Edwards, oh, there's a spud showing there, look, it's got a bit of green, I'll get that one off, one, two, three, four King Edwards, and they are the last two of my um, second earlies, which I can't remember, but they're massive, we've got some, have a look, probably can't find one now, they are just huge, turned out a bucket the other day, I can't find one now, right, Strawberries, stripped them all down, and you can see they've started to regrow. And I've started to oh, uh, pinch all the runners into pots. And I'm going to take them down the allotment. <laughs> Second yellow courgette plant again. Just I don't know why I did four. Well, them two over there were just a test on the ground under there. Bit of rogue celery see what happens and these are hopefully the success story the sweet corn that got battered and eaten by the wood the European corn boring moth cheers Woody uh, these are the ones that I just started to more under lights for about six weeks and they are really thick and they do that horn thing it's like the proper root themselves in the ground I've got tassels coming and couple of corns forming hopefully beetroot I took most of this up last week got about four jars of pickled out of it there's some more celery over there which is a lot better than the other stuff spring onions don't think I need to do any more of them massive but oh, big old spring onions lovely uh, Roy's pot plant need to trim that down and save it again parsley and chives 
wicked. Right, this is my garlic that I pulled up from the middle bed. I'll tell you what I'll put there in a minute. This, this stuff, this stuff was from last year's bulbs, which was really small. So I bought some more. And this stuff, yeah, I cleaned that up a bit better. But there's that one compared to, say, that one. They're about the same, but um, I'm not sure if I'll save garlic again. I mean, it's gone a bit funny now. Pulled up most of my onions. Show you them in a second. Um, they're the sweet candle in the ground, randomly. I haven't even thinned them out yet. Just leave them there. Let's have a look. Didn't sort the ground out on nothing. What we got? That's all right. That's a cigar sized. And uh, still got a bit of root on it, so still going. Thin them out a bit. I'm sure some of them will grow a bit more. The second lot of carrot and Paris carrots that my brother bought me. They've been eaten by something at that end. But right, this is where the garlic came out. So, unlike me, I've re-sown stuff. So I've got another row of uh, little gem lettuce in there. I've got some more spring onions just coming out. You can see, don't know why. See if they'll go. And then we've got a row of beetroot. You can see there's one just coming out there. You can see them. Some turnips. Ooh. Turnips in that row. Another row of beetroot. See there coming. Another row of turnips. That'll do. Just fill some space. Nothing under there. Runner beans. Starting to get some. These are called Benchmaster. I want to do them for the show, but look, they're getting battered at the bottom by something. Snails, I think, so I keep finding them at the top. But hopefully, these ones up here will hang down and maybe get a set for the show. Right, last thing onions. Uh, thanks for the advice, Dan. I've let them keep growing, measured them again, and they'd all gone about two inches bigger. Lovely. I've uh, got these seeds from uh, the Medwins. Obviously them ones down there are just going to be for eating. But these ones, I'm having a look for another show. I've seen a couple. I don't know whether they'll be ready or not. But the other day, which is not supposed to happen, this one went to seed. Chucked out a big flower spike, which you can see I've pinched off. So I thought I'd uh, pull it up and see how much it weighs. So, I've already kind of dug it off. I'll try and bash some of that off. It's a big hole. It's not a bad size. I'll, uh, just put the phone down for a second, one second. Down there. Let's take that off. Chop the top off like that randomly. The only reason I pulled it off is it's gone to seed, and I thought maybe I might be able to dry it out a little bit uh, in time to uh, use it as like one of either one of a set of four veg at the Banbury show. Might get a nice carrot. It's just a Sorry about this. I didn't plan this very well. It's probably going to look rubbish. Right. That was. I need to rehearse that a little bit more, don't I? Right. So let's turn it on. Uh, it's on pounds. So let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Ah. Uh. 2.6 pounds so that dry out to about what 1.8 rubbish uh, right oh yeah show carrots <laughs> they're not even very big at the top either look, I don't know. let's have a look there's a reasonable top there let's see what happens it's all been a bit rubbish but hopefully I'm going to get loads of tomatoes 